Hi class, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will show you how to find the coordinates of the foci and vertices, the endpoints of the major axis, minor axis, and the lattice rectum for ellipse whose center is at the origin. So let's have an example of 9x square plus 16y square minus 144 equals 0. So since yung equation natin is not written in standard form, so i-rewrite muna natin yung ating equation. Okay? So first, transpose muna natin yung 144 sa right side. So we have 9x square plus 16 y square equals 144. Okay, so ang standard form ng ating um, equation ng ellipse is yung right side dapat equals to 1. Okay, so in this case, para ma-equate natin yung ating equation to 1, i-divide natin both sides of the equation by 144. Okay, so dito, yung right side natin magiging equal to 1 na. So, ang gagawin natin dun sa left side is isi-simplify na lang natin. Okay, so yung 9 over 144, so that is x square over this is 16 plus 16 divided by uh, 16 over 144, that is 1 over 9 or y square over 9. Okay, so ito na ngayon yung ating standard form of equation ng ating ellipse. So, ang next na gagawin natin is check natin yung form. So, this equation uh, follows the form of x square over a square plus y square over b square equals 1. Okay, so since na yung greater number natin or yung greater value ng denominator is nasa x, so therefore we have horizontal ellipse. Okay, so ang a square natin dito is we have 16, so a is equal to 4. Diba, i-square root lang natin both side ng ating equation. Then ang b square natin dito, we have 9. So pag in-square root natin yan, ang b natin is equivalent to 3. Then to solve for c, we have square root of a square minus b square. So, that is square root of 16 minus 9. That is square root of 7. Or approximately, that is 2.65. So, unahin na natin guys yung center. So, since wala na makasama yung x and y natin sa numerator. So, automatic yan. Ang center natin is nasa origin. Which is 0, 0. Followed by the vertices. So, ang ating ellipse ay horizontal ellipse. So, that is a uh, positive negative A, comma 0. So, ang vertices ng ating ellipse ay we have uh, 4, comma 0 and negative 4, comma 0. Okay. So, next is yung ating foci. So, ang focus natin is may formula na positive negative C, comma 0. So, ang C natin dito is square root of 7. So, we have uh, square root of 7, 0, and we have negative square root of 7, 0. Okay? So, next is kunin naman natin yung endpoints ng ating major axis. So, alam naman natin na ang endpoints ng ating major axis is yung ating uh, vertices. So, same lang. We have 4, 0. And negative 4, 0. Next is yung end points ng ating uh, minor axis. So, ang formula natin dyan is we have uh, 0, comma, positive negative B. So, ang B natin is 3. So, we have 0, 3, and 0, negative 3. Okay. So, next is yung ating endpoints ng lattice rectum. So, we have two lattice rectum. So, therefore, we have four endpoints. Okay? So, since um, kahit na apat yung ating endpoints, guys, uh, may, may pattern naman to, no? So, commonly, ang pinagkaiba lang nila is yung mga sign. So, we have two formulas. We have negative C, 
comma plus minus b square over a. Then yung isa ng pair naman natin is we have positive c. Then comma plus minus b square over a. So applying the formula, uh, substitute lang natin yung ating a, b, c. So dito ang c natin, we have square root of 7. So that is uh, negative square root of 7, comma. We have b squared, so ang b natin is 3 squared, so that is 9, over a, which is, ang a natin ay 4. Okay? So, ito na yung ating first endpoint ng lattice rectum. Para makuha yung kaparis niya, guys, is, in, uh, kukuhin lang natin yung negative ni 9 over 4. Next is yung third latus rectum natin na endpoints ay yung C naman yung mag-change ng sign. So, instead of negative square root of 7, magiging positive square root of 7, then 9 over 4. Then, yung kanyang kapair naman is we have um, square root of 7, then negative 9 over 4. Nakuha guys. So, ang last part natin is yung ating uh, directrix. So, since we have two directrix, uh, dalawa yung ating tawag dito, uh, equ uh, line. Okay, or dalawa yung ating equation. So, ang equation natin dito, we have x equals uh, positive negative a square over c. Okay. So, ang a natin is 4. So, square nyo lang yan. 4 square, we have positive, ne uh, positive negative 16 over c, which is square root of 7. Okay, so since uh, hindi pa simplest form ang ating uh, fraction, since may radical tayo sa denominator, magra-rationalize lang tayo dyan, guys. So, multiply natin both numerator and denominator by square root of 7. So, ang equation ng ating directrix ay we have positive, negative, 16, square root of 7, over 7. Okay? So, pagka inestimate natin yan, that is positive, negative, 6.05. Nakuha? So, pwede na natin ngayon i-graph yung ating ellipse. So, una, of course, is yung ating center na nasa 0, 0. Okay? Followed by nung ating vertices, which is 4, 0 and negative 4, 0. Ito yung ating first vertex. Then, ang second vertex natin is negative 4, 0. Next is yung ating foci. We have square root of 7, 0 and negative square root of 7, 0. So, yung square root of 7, guys, that is... Uh, Approximately 2.65. So, nandito yung banda. Okay. And we have negative 2.65. So, next is yung ating uh, minor axis. We have 0, 3 and 0, negative 3. So, nandito yan. Ito yung ating co-vertex. And 0, negative 3. Nakuha guys. So, next is yung ating endpoints ng latus rectum. We have uh, negative square root of 7 and 9 over 4. So, dito guys, uh, medyo marami yung ating latus rectum na. So, para di kayo maligaw, tandaan nyo, si latus rectum lagi yan uh, nakapantay dun sa ating focus. Okay? So, tandaan yan. So, dito, bali ang palatandaan na lang natin is 9 over 4. Tandaan nyo yan, which is... Equivalent to 2.25. So, try natin i-plot. So, start tayo kay negative square root of 7. Nandito yan, guys. So, yung partner niya is 9 over 4. So, that is uh, 2.25. So, aakit lang tayo ng 2.25 from dun sa ating F2. So, makikita yun dito, guys. Ito yung ating first latus rectum. Okay? So, ang partner niya is nasa baba lang yan. So, bababa kayo ngayon ng negative 2.25. So, nandito yung banda. Kuha? So, ito na yung ating unang latus rectum. Next is, pupunta tayo sa kabila, sa F1, dito. So, aangat lang din tayo ng 2.25. So, dito tayo yan. 
Ito yung ating third end point. Then, ang partner niya nasa may baba, guys. So, bababa tayo ng negative 2.25. So, nandito yung banda. Okay? So, ito na yung ating second latus rectum. Nakuha? So, ang last is yung ating directrix na merong equation na uh, x equals uh, positive 6.05 and x equals negative 6.05. So, saan kaya natin makikita yan? So, yung directrix natin is nasa 6.05. So, somewhere dito yan guys. So, ito yung ating line ng first directrix. Straight line na lang natin. Ay, sorry. Okay. Next is negative 6.05. So, ang D, direct, second directrix natin, nandito yung banda. Diba guys? Yan. So, ngayon, after natin ma-plot yan, pwede na natin ma-sketch yung ating uh, ellipse. So, mag start tayo dun sa ating uh, vertex going to our latus rectum and dun sa co-vertex. Okay? So, yan. Draw lang tayo. Then, continue lang tayo dito. Yan. So, ito na yung ating drawing ng ating uh, ellipse. Nakuha ba guys? So, this is the end of our video. I hope may natutunan kayo. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!